This is going to be a quick video in our tutorial series on XYZ Mesh version 9 because this is a latest update that we just released in the recording of this video and we have fixed an issue that we previously mentioned in another video that a lot of customers have been requesting and we finally got that nailed down. So the issue that we have been working on is converting 3D points into scatter plots whenever you are using latitude and longitude and altitude. Now the reason why we were having problems with this before is because typically whenever you graph something in a three-dimensional scatter plot it needs to be contained inside of a cube and whenever you're plotting a section of land it's not technically contained inside of a cube it's more of a surface so that's why we would suggest our customers do a surface graph which is what it was made for as opposed to a scatter plot that's not really made for looking at surface areas and things like that but sometimes it is required that you do have scatter plots for surface areas so that's our latest update that we have included in xyz mesh version 9 and let me show you how this works so i'm going to be in xyz mesh version 9 and i'm just going to copy over the same data that we had before in the previous graph and let's paste it into xyz mesh now we're going to go into excel 3d export and this is where the updates have happened you can see that there is an option here that says make boundaries set Whenever you have set boundaries, it allows you to zoom into your graph. However, it also confines it to a minimum maximum cube that it needs to be at. And if not all sides are equal, then it will produce an elongated image. Just like whenever you're trying to plot a surface graph. This is the same kind of style that we had last time. And if you disable this, then it will allow you to graph a wide variety of different type of charts and it will automatically resize the graph as needed but it will not have limited borders so zooming will be disabled we also have another section here included that is called include depth coloring so yes now we have the ability to change the colors of individual points so i'm going to go ahead and hit export to excel now with the depth coloring especially it takes a little bit of extra time for it to convert the data over simply because it has to loop through find all the data points and then do the cell coloring associated with each one of them and then sort the data again so it does take a little bit of extra time but the payoff for the result is well worth it okay and as you can see we now have a 3d scatter plot with cell coloring and all of this was in XYZ Mesh version 9. And we do have the rotations where you can rotate it around. Now, because it doesn't have set boundary, the zoom function does not work with this model. However, you do get the scatter plot of a surface graph with rotation and variated colors. Now, as always, in case you want to try XYZ Mesh out for yourself, the link is in the description down below. We have an entire series on this, which I'm sure is going to pop up on the screen somewhere. And thank you all very much. I hope you have a great rest of your day.